My name is Mary Olashoga from the AWP Network, and you're watching AFK Insider. <laughs> That's a great question. What don't we know? Um, I think, you know, one of the things I would love to do or I've already been doing is writing about the voices of women and girls. And I know there's been a conversation lately on Twitter of something called voice privileging, whereby people think their voice is more important than others. But I think it's important to be inclusive of all voices. So in the article that I wrote, are African girls lagging behind? You know, we see that they're lagging behind. But one of the things people don't know is that they've been lagging behind from like secondary school. And I know like even in the US, you know, you have Black Girls Code and different people that are doing different interventions to ensure that girls are catching up. But there is just unfortunately, people are placed into classes. So if I can explain that. So for example, you're in primary school, you're in secondary school, and then in university, people are placed into classes based on like a score that they've taken. I think that puts a lot of girls at a disadvantage because of the educational system actually already doesn't function or doesn't really benefit them unless they, you know, maybe their parents speak up or, or things like that. So what don't we know about girls? I think girls are excited about technology. Girls want to do more, but unfortunately we have to figure out a way to disrupt the educational system to ensure that, you know, they're out there, you know, doing things that they need to do. But there are different interventions, you know, you have different hubs across the continent, high up, CC up, and, and different hubs like that. And hopefully one of the projects I really want to work on and that's very dear to my heart is have a hub specifically for girls and that way we can engage people at a younger age because I'm really a believer that if you can engage people at a younger age the future will be much different and we don't have to wait until pe people graduate from college or university before we start introducing to them what technology can do for them or how they can be participants and not just users of technology but they're actually the developers and people who are affecting change um, so that's one of the things I hope to do so what don't we know most people think that girls are just lagging behind because they want to or whatever but I think the educational system sort of affects why most girls are not in ICT.